today's Slanted Lens lesson, we're in Boston shooting on the USS Constitution. This is the oldest commissioned ship in the US Navy. It was built in the late 1700s. It's just a great privilege to be here shooting in this historic Boston area on such a national treasure as the USS Constitution. Today's lesson is a look at how to light a large space at nighttime. You know, some may think it takes a tremendous amount of equipment to shoot in a large space at night. This is a huge ship, but we're going to light it with two or three well-placed strobe heads. And I think we can do so very effectively. There's also my secret weapon for shooting at night. We're going to talk a little more about that as we go along. We had great talent that we hired here in the Boston area. Jolene brought the clothing in from Los Angeles. It was used on Master and Commander. You know, most of the wardrobe from the movies gets sold to some kind of a prop house or wardrobe house in Los Angeles, and she found this clothing. Great look for these guys. While we were on location, Lens Pro to Go delivered to us a Kessler Stealth Slider. You know, this is a great service. You get the equipment sent exactly to where you need it. There's no cost for shipping. Then when you're done, you put a little tag on it and ship it right back to them. You know, I love this slider by Kessler as well. It's compact, it ships really easily. It's a great piece of equipment. We got to the ship when it closed at about 4 p.m. in the day. The equipment was loaded on the ship and we started to set up for our shot. You know, the only pause we took was when the cannon was fired at sunset. That was pretty cool. My two camera guys were up on top and they got the shot of the cannons as they went off to the side of the boat. A great way to start our shoot. Before the sun got too far down, I shot a few shots with just an octodome. You know, it's very easy to shoot when the sky creates contrast with all the elements of the ship or the area you're shooting in. I can see the rigging and everything because the sky is creating that contrast for me. So here's a shot with an octodome and the natural light creating the contrast with the boat and the rigging. But when it gets dark, I'm going to have to create that contrast. Lens Pro to Go ship the 5D Mark III. It's my choice with a shot like this because that sensor is so clean in the blacks, especially at nighttime. It makes for a great platform to shoot on. We're going to have a lot of black in this ship as we shoot at night. Our exposure tonight is going to be F8 at a fourth of a second. You know, we're trying not to burn in the skies. We're not too concerned about changing the shutter speed because the ambient's not a factor. So we'll stick with F8 at a fourth of a second through the whole shoot. Let's look at how we set up our lighting to shoot at night so that the light looks natural and not pushed. This is our first image with only the ambient. You know, you can see a fluorescent light on the cannon. I don't think in the 1700s they had fluorescent lights on the cannon, so that's going to have to be retouched out. My first light is a Photoflex small octodome with a grid. This is going to be on the captain's face up front. That'll be our key light. Each of the next two lights we're going to put up are going to be Dynalite strobe heads. They have the travel reflectors. There's no softeners. I want a really hard light to rim the people and the set in order to create definition. So with that thought, the light we're going to set up on camera left is a rim for the guys just behind the captain on the cannon. Here's our image with the second light. Now this is the most important light when you're shooting at night on set. That's going to be our rim light from behind. It will light up the entire set, drawing lines on the elements of the boat, the rigging, the ship itself, the cannons. This really helps to kind of keep this from looking like a black hole, but give us nice highlights on everything in the set. It's got to come from behind and as deep as we can place it. The ship really has come alive now. You can see all the detail in the rigging and the cannons. It's not a bad look, but it's not done yet. It's a little too harsh. We really need smoke to create atmosphere in the air and to tie the whole image together. Because of the cannon, we can use hard smoke. It can look like there's actually smoke in the air. There's a purpose for it in the shot. I use this when there's fog or some reason that makes sense to have smoke. Then you can use it just as hard smoke on set. Fire! If you don't have an element like that, then you're going to diffuse it a lot more so it just becomes atmosphere. But in doing so, it gives you some kind of basis to tie the image together, to soften the hard lines, makes the whole image work better together. All right, fine, this is the secret weapon I talked about. It's used by most DPs and photographers that shoot at night. You know, take a look at the end of Skyfall and all the night shooting they did. You know, it all has smoke or atmosphere. We rented a smoke machine in Boston. It was the oldest Roscoe smoke machine I've ever seen, but it worked wonderfully, gave us the smoke that we needed. Here's our image with all the lights in place and the smoke. This is a montage of some of the unedited images. After I shot this little sequence of the cannon going off, I did a few shots just as portraits of our four guys. I let the light be a lot less controlled looking on their faces. I don't mind if a little bit of shadow creeps in. It, it feels very natural. This was a great shoot. The images, however, need more of a vintage look, so I'm going to head to Nick's software to finish up. 
I'm going to go to Bleach Bypass. I'll push the brightness up to somewhere in the 20s. I want a little bit bright on his face. Then I'm going to go to the saturation. I'm going to pull a lot of the color out of the image. I'll drop it down to almost a negative 40. Now we're going to go to contrast. We're going to push that up into the 30 to 40 range. Now we're going to go to our next layer, which is a film effects called Vintage. You know, when we click that on, it's going to give us a white vignette on the outside edges. We're going to pull the saturation back to about a negative 10 or 11. We have the opportunity to warm this up if we want, so we're going to push it up to about 67%. And we're going to pull that vignette in. We want that vignette to be a little white on the edges. It kind of gives it that vintage look. We'll set that at about 45%. We've used film type number two. We're not going to change that. As we hit OK, that will save those changes and apply it to our final image. This has been a great shoot working here on the USS Constitution. You know, really thanks to the U.S. Navy for allowing us to come and to shoot here on this amazing ship. As kind of a wrap up though, remember the most important light you're going to set when you're shooting at night is that backlight. It's going to rim and give definition to your large background. You can put a blue gel on it, give a nice cool look. That cool look will also pick up in the smoke. That smoke becomes an element that draws the whole scene together and it really helps us to not feel so harsh from the lights that we've set up. So keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. The drawing is still open to win our Glidecam 2000. All you have to do is go to theslantedlens.com and you can enter several different ways there. Don't miss out, you got till December 30th, so get over there and sign up to win that Glidecam 2000. Thank you.